Let's define a new type of enthalpy here specific to chemical reactions or which is going to be the enthalpy of reaction. So for most, chem most chemical reactions, they are going to be exposed to the atmosphere as they occur. So the pressure is going to be constant. The change in the pressure will be zero, as the pressure will be atmospheric pressure for the most part throughout the reaction. And we know that enthalpy is also a state function, and it is extensive. So for our reaction enthalpy, delta R of H, that is just going to be the enthalpy of our products minus the enthalpy of our reactants. So this delta RH here, as we have called it, is the enthalpy of reaction. Of reaction. Okay, so we know that this is also equal to, because it's a constant pressure process, it's going to be equal to the heat of reaction for that process. So it tells us about how much heat is being released or absorbed by released from or absorbed by the system during a chemical reaction. So based off of the sign of the enthalpy, if we have the enthalpy being negative, then that means that the reaction is exothermic or heat is being released by the system to the surroundings. The system being the uh, atoms and the chemicals which are undergoing the reaction. Alternatively, if we have that the enthalpy of reaction is greater than zero, that means that it is an endothermic reaction. And we know that heat was absorbed by the system. Heat was absorbed by our uh, molecules which undergo the reaction and so they pull in heat from the surroundings and make the surroundings a little bit cooler. Okay and so based off of this definition here we know that if the enthalpy of our products is greater than the enthalpy of our reactants then that means that our reaction enthalpy is going to be greater than zero. It's going to be endothermic and the opposite of that, if the enthalpy of our products is less than the enthalpy of our reactants, then the enthalpy of reaction is less than zero, and it is exothermic. It will be releasing heat. Okay, so one more quantity that we're going to define here briefly. We're going to have the enthalpy of reaction with this little circle subscript up at the top right here. And this is going to be for the standard molar enthalpy of a reaction. Enthalpy of reaction. Okay, so this is going to be the enthalpy of one mole of a given reactant. Uh, reacting at one bar of pressure and 273 Kelvin. So one mole of whatever reagent of interest we are discussing at one bar of pressure and at 273 Kelvin or zero Celsius. That would be what we call standard temperature and pressure or standard conditions. There's also standard uh, ambient temperature and pressure and that would be for one mole of the reagent at one bar of pressure and then at room temperature which I believe uh, chemists typically define to be 25 Celsius. But you gotta be careful sometimes uh, chemists and physicists defi uh, define room temperature differently. Sometimes physicists define that as 20 Celsius and chemists as 25, but we'll just go ahead and say it's 25. Just check whatever your particular resource is using before you give your answer. And that would be SAPT, or Standard Ambient Temperature and Pressure. And this being a molar quantity, that means that the standard uh, molar enthalpy of the reaction that is going to be a state function, just as is enthalpy, 
but this is going to be an intensive property. So it's not going to scale with the number of moles because generally we're calculating that relative to one mole of a given reagent in our reaction.